Okay, here's what passes for a uh, ham radio antenna system right now. This is the MFJ Mag Loop and the RG58 coax I was mentioning. It goes along here, there's the neighbor, and <clears throat> comes down the side of the house and into my conduit box and then down to the shack. There's another piece of RG8 axe that I brought up this far. I'm probably going to uh, connect a VHF UHF dual band antenna to it. And then there's a three inch conduit going down into the ground across the patio. And it does not come up in this box here, but it goes out to way over there. It's about 140 feet total run. And that uh, um, conglomeration of uh, pipes sticking up will be the location for my new uh, vertical antenna, or should I say the relocation of my um, butternut uh, HF6V antenna. So this is the other end of the three inch conduit. And then there's also a, a half inch that goes to that conduit box we walked past. Um, and I've beaten a poor piece of aluminum pipe into the ground. <laughs> Didn't even use a piece of wood to soften the blow. We have a puppy who has decided that uh, the radials I laid out are way fun to play with and to eat. So they're not very orderly right now. Um, I do have radials running under all of the sod here, uh, going through most of it. It's about a uh, 50 by 80 foot uh, uh, area that we laid grass in. So it has quite a number of radials underneath it. This thing here, by the way, is a uh, French drain for the whole uh, house. So there is a, uh, a drainage system uh, that runs around the um, bottom of the uh, basement wall and ends up out here in this thing, which has a big bed of uh, rock underneath it. Uh, so we should never have any flooding issues here. And it just hasn't been cut down yet and a similar kind of surface mount box being put on it. But because we have a, uh, a miniature um, Australian Shepherd puppy uh, who loves to chew, um, I'm probably going to cut about this much off of it here up and use it as teeth protection around the uh, the uh, pipes there. And then these radials will have to be buried a few inches under the soil to keep her from doing this kind of damage again. So I'm not quite ready to put the vertical up. But this is Pleasant Grove, Utah. Beautiful place. We're right up against the mountains here. This is looking east. And uh, there's only three houses on this street. My wonderful neighbors next door here, uh, who uh, the husband, uh, Matt, is uh, my new best friend, and he's very interested in ham radio and probably wants to get his license. And I told him uh, I'd be happy to help him do that. And uh, I'm gonna give him a handy talkie that he can use to listen to the local repeaters on. He also wanted to know all about what I was doing with this antenna, so I brought him over here at various stages and showed him how I was laying out the radials and why we needed radials. Anyway, it's a beautiful area. We're on about a half acre lot here, and uh, life could be uh, way worse. That's Nala, by the way. Hi, Nala. Nala is our white golden retriever. She's about six years old now and she does not chew antenna wires. So she's a good dog. Aren't you a good dog? Yeah, you're a very good dog. 
she just hangs out she wants to be wherever i am so anyway this is the back of the house and way over there again is the magaloop antenna we'll get something better going here but uh, at least i can get on the air a little bit <clears throat> I'll show a little bit more of a close-up of the antenna. So both of these pieces are from MFJ, this uh, tripod as well as the antenna itself. And uh, it's not bad. I probably made a little bit of fun of it by saying it's somewhat better than a wet noodle. Um, it's actually better. Um, like any antenna, if you put it up higher, it's going to do better. It can mount, uh, be mounted either vertically or horizontally. Uh, lower to the ground, you want it to be vertical. And yes, I have made coast-to-coast -coast contacts with it. I've also made uh, similar contacts with a couple of homebrew uh, mag loops that I did using copper pipe. So it's not a bad antenna. The only downside is uh, MFJ wants, I think, like $550 for it now. Whew. I, I think I paid 400 for it a couple years ago. And since you're wondering, that's where our big, beautiful new hot tub is gonna go. So we still have a lot of things going on, lots of moving in to do. And that was the ladder I was using to string the coax up so the puppy doesn't reach up and chew it off. She's already chewed off the ends of one of my coax. So it's kind of a mess, but we'll get organized eventually. So anyway, that's uh, ham radio as it uh, stands here right now at the new house. 73.